EGFR is one aspect of how well the kidneys are functioning, as we mentioned, but I think the other things that might be helpful in assessing if IG and nephropathy itself is progressing is the amount of protein in the urine and the amount of blood. And so um, those in combination, I think, offer a more complete picture of what's going on in the kidney. Because as we mentioned, EGFR itself can vary with blood pressure control or even hydration status. But if the EGFR has gone down and then the amount of protein in the urine has also gone up, um, as Jamila mentioned and shared her experience, that might suggest that IG nephropathy might be a little bit more active. And one thing to add is, um, you know, we use a kidney biopsy to diagnose IG nephropathy. Um, but sometimes if um, individuals have had treatment or if um, something changes several years down the line, there are individuals who might need a repeat kidney biopsy. Now, that's not always the case. Um, but especially if um, there is a change to the treatment or we uh, plan to use immunosuppression, that might be something to discuss. So EGFR, in summary, is a good um, initial kind of measure of the kidney function and might suggest that IG nephropathy is progressing, but it has to be taken in um, to account with other parameters such as the urine test, the urine blood, the urine protein um, in, in combination. Mm -hmm.